morning everybody. So I just got out here, I'm gonna get started with the milking. And this morning I wanna show you guys how we set up and clean up the milking parlor. I'm usually the one that moves cows, so I don't get to do this very often. So I figure I'll show you while I'm milking this morning. So right now the milkers are in the wash cups since last night's milking. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out before I get started here. Pull them out like this, and then these actually close up nicely. Now we'll head into the milk house and set this up. This is the room we call the milk house. So we got the front of the milk tank that sticks through the wall here. Most of it's on the other side there. And just some of the controls here for the washer and everything. Got this elbow here I'm gonna put on the tank and then we have that line right there that's the milk line will swing down and connect to it So this line was up here. This is the drain for the wash system. When we want to milk, we got to put this down here. And then once I have this on, I'm just gonna tighten this nut down a little bit. And we can open up the tank valve. The milk tank holds enough for six milkings. It's about half full right now. It has three milkings in it. So we'll put over here the controls and just gotta switch this dial over to milk and the system fired up there. We're done in here. Man, this is the utility room, the rest of the milk tank. So I need to switch this on here. This is the uh, plate cooler. So there's water running through this right here and the milk will come through and the water from the well will cool the milk down part of the way just using the natural cooler temperature of the water and then that water will end up running into the tanks and it'll get used and the milk will continue going into the milk tank and there's actually big refrigerators in there it'll pull it down the rest of the way now we'll come down to the end of the parlor here and there's just two things we need to do there's a pinch valve and this little dial we have to turn up here. That's just switching it over from wash mode to milk. And then we'll go down through the line here and detach all the milkers and lift them up. We always have two people milking and one person will move cows. The other person will stay in the milking parlor the whole time and set up and clean up the milk house. But uh, right now the other guy, he's out getting pen one over. They're making their way over here. I'm just gonna head back here and check the pre-fresh cows. See if any cows are having a calf here. Just gonna sweep this feed in for the special needs cows. So we'll start bringing cows in here and get going. Two sides are milk, now we're bringing in our third side. We 
got the third side of the cows in here. And he went out to get group two now, so I'll milk these here by myself while he's doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the milking procedures here now. So we've made some pretty big changes to our prep process here over the last couple months. Uh, but it's been working out for us pretty good. So I got my pre-dip here. This is uh, to kill bacteria, clean the teat off. So first thing I'm gonna do, check for any loose dirt on the teats and brush it off. And then we'll go ahead and pre-dip it. Now what we're doing different from what we did before is I'm going ahead and stripping right away now. So this is, we're doing this to let the cow know we're about to milk her, get that first little bit of milk out of there. And she'll start letting her milk down and getting ready to have the milk be put on. So then after stripping, I went ahead and dipped it again. So that's different from what a lot of people do and what we've done in the past. Uh, we usually just pre-dipped once before we stripped, then came back through later. Now we're actually doing it in one time. And we like it because we have a lot of different people milking. And we think this helps us be more consistent with the timing. And it also helps us get them cleaner. So you're kind of getting a lot of that dirt off when you strip and then you're coming back and getting good contact with the second round of dip. And we found it really hasn't slowed us down much at all. So it's, it's been working out pretty good. So we have 13 cows on this side here. And I'm not going to do all 13 at once, even though I'm by myself, I'm going to split it in half to keep the timing consistent. So we want to have about 60 to 90 seconds between when I strip them and when we put a milker on. I'm going to just rinse my hands off a little bit and get some towels here. Then for wiping, we'll go ahead and go over them. Take about 10 seconds. I'll clean them good on one side of the towel, flip the towel over and kind of focus on the ends of the teeth here, to get them clean. You see how clean we want these. See no dirt there on the tips of the teeth. So these are right for milkers now. When I swing these milkers across, they turn on automatically. And then they'll just milk the cow, and when she slows down to the point where it's only coming a little bit, they'll automatically pull off. So the suction will stop, and then the rope will pull it off. See, what you want to see is that milk flowing right away like that. We got six cows milked. That's the process right there. I got to do the second half now. I gotta get my fan turned back on. I had it off so you guys can hear me better, but it's hot out here. Step once the cows are milked is to take the post dip over them. Just give them a quick dip. This is similar to what the pre dip has in it, but it also has conditioners in it to help keep the teats healthy. We're getting towards the end of milking now. This is the first side of pen four we're about to let out. We just have to get the special needs pen over and milk them and then clean everything up. So we're milking the special needs cows now, which is the last group that we do. These cows can be in here for different reasons. Some of them are just older cows that don't do as well in a stall. And uh, we got some cows in here that just had calves or uh, maybe have a sore foot. This one here has a sore foot. but. Uh, 
A couple of these have red bands on them. These cows are ones we don't want to milk into the line and put in the tank. So this one here actually just has low quality milk, but this one was being treated with antibiotics because she had some uh, mastitis. So we're actually done treating her. We have to keep her milk out for a couple more days because we don't want to get any of those antibiotics in the tank. We're not allowed to do that. We didn't milk these. The other ones are milk. I just prepped these. So we're going to need to go disconnect the line before we can milk the red one. I'm going to go ahead and swing all these milkers across here a while. All the non-red cows are done milking. So I got the milker swung over. I'm just spraying water on them here a while to get them soaking so we can clean them better. Now we'll head into the milk house and get ready to milk the red cows. So right here on the control box, I'm going to push this toggle switch up and this will run the milk pump. There's a pump at the end of the parlor that pumps the milk over here through this pipe. So that's running right now. I'll do that for about 12 seconds. And then I'll switch this toggle switch down and now it's going to blow air through the line. So there's an air compressor line that goes the whole way out there. And now it's just going to push any extra good milk through the whole way to the tank. And then uh, once I hear the bubbles coming in, I'll stop and we can disconnect it. Okay, now I hear air bubbles coming through. So I'll close my valve here. And then we can open this up. We got the line disconnected from the tank. Now we're safe to milk any treated cows. We don't have to worry about getting any antibiotics in the tank or anything. So while those are milking, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these milkers off. So the red cows are done and I cleaned all the milkers. Now right now in the morning is when we'd be treating cows if we needed to treat any. Thankfully right now we don't have any that we're treating. Got done with that one the other day. So I'm just gonna dip these and let them out. My girls. So this is the pump that I had manually turned on. This will automatically run normally when the when this tank fills up with milk. But when we want to get everything out, you just run it manually, clears it out, sends it into the milk house, and then this is the air line that comes in. So when I flip the toggle down, it just blows air through, clears everything out. Back in the milk house, now I'm going to clear the line out the same way, but this time we're going to catch the milk in these five-gallon buckets here. system off and that'll open up the lines drain the milk out of the whatever's left in the lines and everything so this milk here we cannot sell so normally you'd have to dump it out just dump it down the drain but we have that thing right there which is a pasteurizer for calf milk so rather than throwing that milk away put it in here and run it through a cycle it'll heat it up and kill a bunch of the bacteria that'll be in it and then we can feed it to the calves later today so the calves were already fed this morning. This is empty, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this milk straight in the pasteurizer. We're gonna need a bit more to make sure we have enough for the calves. So I'm gonna just pull some good milk out of the tank. lid on there and we'll 
we'll start the pasteurized cycle here. The milk in the tank is right now at just under 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That's gonna be cooling down in about 36 or 37. And then the tank has big stirs in there, keeps the milk swirling. Every other day we get picked up. The, uh, the milk truck will back in right here outside, send the hose through this right here, and hook it up to the milk line. Rinse this tank elbow off. Put this in the wash vat. Now the last thing we have to do in the milk house here is change the milk filter, which is right here. I'm gonna pull this out, put a new filter sleeve in it. This gets changed every milking, so this is how much dirt got in from our milking. It's about 600 gallons of milk, 175 cows, and yeah, this is the dirt we left in when we were prepping them and everything, so it's a good way to tell how clean you're getting the cow. So now I'm just gonna rinse this filter off a little bit, then we'll put a new filter on it. piece of slides over the end like this, slide it down in place, and drop it in here. Just gotta make sure the gasket is straight on. Put the clamp back on here. paper towels from the milk in here. We used to use cloth towels and we had a washer and dryer for them. And we'd have to have remilking, put them in there and wash them. But we found that paper towels, until you have a, until you pay for a washer and dryer, pay the electric to run them and soap and everything. It actually really come out about even with paper towels and we think they do a little better job anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch this valve back to the wash setting. Now I'll come back out to the parlor. I shut the milking system off so the milk is dropped down. We'll come down and switch these two valves again. Open that pinch valve. Switch this one back. So now I'm gonna put the milkers back in the wash cups. bit extra milk for the dog. All right, all the milkers are in the wash cups. I'll just come back in the milk house here. I'm gonna switch this over to the wash and hit the start button. So this is what we call the wash vat here. This will fill up with water and soap and then it'll pull it through the system, run water through everything, clean everything out the whole way through up this pipe and I'll go down the drain here. So now I'm just gonna grab my hose and just rinse everything off just a little bit here. Now the system started back up and it's gonna run the wash through now that that tank filled up. So here it comes. Okay, we're done. Wash cycle's running, everything's cleaned up. So normally I don't do this part of the milking, I'm normally the one moving cows and then I'll wash down up here. But uh, Megan's the girl I usually see milking with me, she's away this week, so I just get to do a little different job here this morning. So I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next video. One last thing I always enjoy doing, getting the arms cleaned up.